Hello and welcome to this Globstrat overview tutorial. This video tutorial is organized into three parts. This first video will give you an overview of the Globstrat web interface. The second video will cover the decision-making process, explaining how to take and save your decision and submit them each year. The third video will present you all the information provided by the software each year and explain how you will be able to make a strategic diagnosis before proceeding to your decisions for the next year. The Globstrat homepage displays the following information. The left area displays information on your team, including members which are registered at this stage. Top and bottom line on the right display the time limit for submitting new decisions. All the information available will be displayed constantly. However, the decision-making period is limited. Displayed in the center of the screen is the home page image, welcome messages and the context of the simulation, such as institution, program or teacher. In addition to this, any messages from your teacher or Globstrat are displayed on the right area. The page defaults to the, your language chosen during registration. You can change language by clicking on the languages button located on the ribbon on the top right line of the screen. The red exit button located on the right side of the ribbon allows you to display from Globstrat. Be sure to save your decision before disconnecting from the software. Finally, the menu ribbon allows for navigating between the different tabs of the software. The first main menu tab, titled Decisions, allows for access to the decision page. The first tab in the decision page is the marketing tab, which allows you to make decisions. These are made by selecting options on the map or in the tabs below, right here. Or entering figures related to sales, such as projected sales volumes or sale prices. The right side of the decision page contains graph, which upon submission of a decision set will display the impact of the decision on profit and loss statement, financing forecast, or projected cash flow. Clicking on the Generate Forecast button will allow you to generate a projected detailed forecast based on your sales objectives and the decisions already taken to achieve them. Each successive iteration from decision to forecast and then from forecast to decision should allow you to refine your decision. At the end of the decision process, you can close and submit your decisions. Ensure that your decision set is submitted by the, the date and time indicated, right here. Be aware that the submit button will block future access to decision and will not allow for modification until the next round. Therefore, it is important that you only submit your decisions once your whole team has finalized their choices for that year, given that this should be done before the limit time. Any violation of the time limit can be penalized, unless otherwise agreed with your instructor. In addition to decision, there are a few other useful tabs in the main menu ribbon. As you can see, there is performance, competition and intelligence. This will be covered in future detail in the diagnosis tutorial. The performance page shows the result of the past year via a series of tabs right here that covers sales, profit loss or balances. So sales, profit loss, balance sheets. 
the competition page right here shows the results of the past year in comparison of those of your competitors. This page will be extremely useful to gauge your ranking against your competitors as well as allowing to make strategic diagnosis. This will be the subject of the annual briefing possibly given by your instructor. Further information on your competitors can be obtained by navigating to the intelligence page and selecting the tab with the sub subject you would like more information on. Environment, marketing, sales, innovation, human resources, finance, value creation. Further information on the intelligence tabs will be provided in the diagnosis tutorial. All these intelligence studies are free in year one. However, from year two, a payment will be required to conduct this research. Take the opportunity to view the structure and content of these intelligence surveys in year one, even if all the companies will be similar at the start. Now, let's view the rest of the options available in the main menu. The management page contains a new set of options. The identity tab allows you to assign a company name for your business, which will be used to identify your company for the duration of the simulation. The team organization tab will allow you to divide responsibilities of your team via a choice of functions. The CEO will have access to all the decision pages and will be able to coordinate them and make alterations where necessary. The VPs have access to all available information. However, they are only able to make or modify the decisions under their responsibility. The schedule tab shows time frames selected by your instructor for future rounds. The business model tab enables you to choose your strategy or business model out of a list of proposed strategic options that correspond to your initial strategy. These choices are modifiable until the end of year two, after which they are only available for viewing. This information is not accessible to your competitors. The records tab will allow you to review the results of previous year except for any intelligence process. These have to be saved manually. If you wish to keep them, this functionality becomes available in year two. The Globstrat mailing page allows you to send messages to and receive messages from your instructor or other teams. The documentation page contains a download link for the user guide. This is approximately 20 pages long and we ask that you read it in detail so that you can familiarize yourself with the rules of the game. A quiz 1 located in the evaluation tab of the main menu will test your understanding of the manual. For scores below 80%, it is recommended that you reread the manual and repeat the quiz. Other resources are also available in the documentation tab. For example, the debrief template, which will prepare you for the final debriefing. The support tab allows you to send questions to your instructor or in the event of technical issues, to report the problem to Globstrat support. We have now covered the user interface of the Globstrat software. Please refer to our other tutorials on decision making and diagnosis for further refine your skills. Enjoy the simulation!